Hello guys, it's Laura and you're watching Laura Xani and welcome back to Magical Mondays on my channel where we discuss everything Harry Potter related. So today we are here with Fantastic Beasts Crimes of Grindelwald review. Now first off, I must give a disclaimer, Johnny Depp, aka that's the first time and last time I'm going to see that name in this video. I hate him as a person, I think he's a bad person, I do not condone his actions, I think he's terrible, he shouldn't have done that and I'm miffed and I'm pissed for all womankind that he has done this and I, I can guarantee he's done it before, I don't think she's the first, which is the most annoyingly thing that makes me angry, but I think this was a great casting choice for Grindelwald because there's a confliction there and it annoys me. So. I enjoy his portrayal as Grindelwald, I think it's a perfect casting choice but does not mean I condone the person and it actually helps me enjoy the evilness of Grindelwald because I know the person that plays Grindelwald who is evil is also evil himself. There you go, so do not at me. Okay, let's get into the thing. So let's just get into the, I mean let's start with the ads. So this, I don't know if this is with everybody's cinema but there was Selena Gomez coach ads and they were adorable. Also a uh, what is Wizards Unite? Right, I'm going to Google this when I finish this video, but what is Wizards Unite? And should we unite? Are you going to unite? Because I think I'm going to unite. I don't know what it is, but it's coming next year. Should I just unite? I think we should. Trailers for other films. Bumblebee, I want to go see it, even though I don't like Transformers. And also, are they ever going to stop with Nativity? The first Nativity was good with Martin Freeman, and the other, the second one with David Tennant was meh. After that, oh, why don't they just stop? Um, so on to the actual film, also there will be spoilers ahead, protect the secrets once we're done. So hearing the new theme, or just the theme in general is epic, sitting in the cinema and hearing do 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 which I can play on the piano. Anyway, and also I love the new Wizarding World logo, I think it's epic. So. Little story time. I was actually there when they were filming Crimes of Grindelwald. I didn't even know until two weeks later. So uh, I watched Tessa Netting's video and Banana Joe, and it was Banana Joe that I, I found out that I was there because it was the same day that I was there and she was talking about being at Crimes of Grindelwald there. And I was like, they were filming Crimes of Grindelwald whilst I was there? What? So I had a slight freak out when I realised that I was just behind there. Well they were behind me, I was in the tour and me and my mum went out for a cigarette at one point and that was like where the doors to the Warner Brothers studio is and it's like between the tour and the thing and I was like oh my god. We were standing about 500 yards away from probably like Eddie Redmayne and Jude Law, I was freaking out. Okay so set in 1927, a lot of these are just words and I think I just, I wrote a lot of questions during the film and then answered them as we went on. So, set in 1927, that's good because now I officially know where it was been set. Um, Abernathy, oh my god, Abernathy. Uh, that was, that was something else. I love how I've written Abernathy, much darker. I knew the polyjuice would wear off. So I knew from the minute that when Grindelwald was sitting there, I had a moment to think. I was like, that is not Grindelwald, that is Abernathy, there is no way that that is Grindelwald. <laughs> I just knew there was something about it. I was like, Grindelwald would not have allowed his tongue to be cut out. There was no way. So I just knew it was Abernathy. Um, and then when he starts speaking, I was like, that's the Sweeney Todd voice. It is, I, had, I got flashbacks to Sweeney Todd and I was about to start just singing um, Epiphany. Anyway, pick it. Moving on from that and that whole bit where, actually funny enough, that whole bit where he's thingy, I, I found that it was very interesting, he doesn't like to get his hands dirty so he threw out that guy out the carriage and then he gave him his wand. Now I thought that was very interesting, it was as if to say like, I have thrown you out here, oh look I'm evil but oh by the way, here's your wand, maybe that's helpful, I don't know, it's so conflicting, it's so weird. Oh, okay, anyway, on to Pickett. Pickett's my aesthetic. I just love Pickett. Pickett's probably my favourite. Um, I like the baby Nifflers as well, but I think Pickett is my favourite uh, magical creature at them all. I love how I've put, and is Lita actually good? Lita is strange. 
Oh wait, what? A Lestrange and a Scamander? Yeah, I, I, I don't have a lot of knowledge on the Lestranges, which I probably should as a black. I should know, but I don't. Um, so I go, I actually adore Newt. Um, I do, I adore Newt very much. Evil. Uh, I put child death, so if you didn't know there's a child death. Dumbledore is so hot. Phoenix, me foreshadow. Because I was sitting there, I was going, I didn't realise it was going to be a foreshadow for the end of the film. I didn't realise this, right? So I was thinking when it said when I was saying foreshadowing for the Phoenix, I was going, oh, foreshadowing to Phoenix, like you're saying, oh my my father, because Fox, because Fox and the Harry Potter films. I didn't realise it was going to be a, a spoiler, and um, I didn't realise it was going to be a bloody foreshadow for the end of the film. God's sake. Dumbledore, small Irish accent. Some of the things he was saying when he was with Newt and they were in London, there was a few things when they were sitting in that carriage, I could hear the, the Irish lilt and I was like, is he doing a Michael Gambon? I didn't know. Lita's brother is Credence? With a question mark. That's what I spent the whole film wondering. Um, he can't move against Grindelwald because he fancies him. I mean, tell me where the lie is. Where's the lie? Where's the lie? Niffler! I love a good Niffler. Baby Nifflers! Bunty has a thing for Newt. I mean, who doesn't? Newt is so cute and Newt is so awkward and I do think he... I uh, just love him. Oh, Newt! Jacob and Queenie! <laughs> I've also put... Uh, Weeping Angel, Paris. The what? The Weeping So, obviously, um, to get into the magical part of Paris, you need to go through a Weeping Angel. And I don't care, even if it's not a Weeping Angel, it's just a statue. To me, if it's a woman and it's an angel, it looks like an angel, it's a Weeping Angel. Anyway, Nagini! Love a good Nagini. I actually really like Nagini in this. And I wonder why I want to know more of her story and how the hell she came to be with bloody Voldemort. She was like a sweetheart in the whole film and I'm like, oh my god, you're a sweetheart. Why are you, why did you go with Voldemort? What is wrong with you? Because she doesn't even join Grindelwald in the end. Anyway, oh Credence, those cheekbones. <laughs> I, Ezra Miller, is, Ezra Miller if you're watching this, you, honey, you tick all my boxes. You are amazing. I just, if you have not seen Ezra Miller's Playboy shoot, go see it. It is a sight to behold. I just, anything. A maledixus, a maledixus, I can't see it. So she's not an animagus. I thought she was an animagus, but then, no, I just thought she was an animagus, anyway. Oh, this was Abernathy, or no, this was, oh no, this was this guy that got killed in the end in the flames, I can't remember his name, he was like, can kill the great kill Albus as if like he was going to say the great Albus Dumbledore but he just says so I can see that Grindelwald was not happy with that bit. Love a good port key. Love a Niffler sniffing. That was so cute with the wee Niffler sniffing around on the ground. That was so cute. Newt is so in love with Tina. He is. It's so cute. The architecture is something else. It's just amazing and the fact that they filmed that all at the Warner Brothers Studios. They were not in Paris to film it. They were not in New York. They were not in London. They did it all at the Warner Brothers Studio. It's just epic. Poor Abernathy. Oh, it's, I think it was because he was in a dress. I think that's why I said that. OMG Queenie, it must be so hard being a legitimate. Legitimate? Do you know half the Wizarding World's words I can't actually say? But it must be hard being that because you hear everybody else's thoughts. And it must be hard to like, when you're in a crowded place, like trying to thingy them all out. The servant is so adorable. Oh, Credence is wee mate, which actually wasn't, yeah, oh God. That wee servant, she was so cute. And why did, I was like, that died from the Ministry of Magic is back. Killed the wee servant. Oh, he was just evil. And also he was working for Grindelwald, which made it weird. I still have like four pages to go. Wait, why the is he working for Grindelwald? Is that Septim Serpia scars? Um, the, the guy, what is his name? Can't remember. Anyway, it's not. It's Unforgivable Without Scars, but I thought it was Septim Serpia. Jacob is hilarious. That thing for that big, big beast, which I can't remember the name of. It's been a couple of days. I can't remember. It's like a cat toy where they go, and it's like a cat. It was so funny. Um, I'm screaming. Oh, yeah, about the cat toy. Hogwarts. Oh, 
Do something, something else. Young McGonagall, aye, but this was set in 1927 and McGonagall, in canon, has not, was not born till 1935, so how is she an adult in 1927? I don't know. JK Rowling, tell me why. Tell me why. Anyway, McLaggen. There's a McLaggen. Cormac McLaggen's great great granddad. I don't have a clue. Closer than brothers. <laughs> it's like, I was like, we were closer than brothers. I was like, oh yeah, yeah, you were, babe. Yeah, you were. Travis has been in something. The guy, the Scottish guy that plays Travis, he's been in something. I can't think what it is. Actually, he's probably been in a lot of things, but it's it's kind of sticking in my mind. It's something. I can't remember what it is. Deathly Hallows symbol in Lita's desk. Lita is slithered and, and I appreciate it. I do, I really do appreciate it. I'm also digging the new Hogwarts school uniform. Alyssa and Kira both don't like the school uniform, but I do. I think there's something cool about it. Dumbledore teaching Defence Against the Dark Arts reminds me of Lupin. What is Lita's bogger? <laughs> you find out in the end. I freaked out about that. Oh, baby Pickett. Dumbledore and Lita share a bond and then we go to Queenie and she goes see if I can't tell if you're making a joke or you're just French and I was like yes Queenie yes um manipulative to the max Grindelwald he is just so manipulative which makes him makes sometimes you sit there and you think I can actually see where he's coming from with this and that freaks me out Mara Rivera said that whole bit OMFG the pendant which is a blood pendant. Oh, the scars are on an unbreakable vow. <laughs> and there's a bit where Jacob is taking, he, he is holding with the tweezers that wee parasite and he just goes, Calabari. <laughs> I was actually wetting myself in the cinema. Cause it was just, it was so like, Calabari. <laughs> it was my favorite scene by far, that was hilarious. Nicholas Femel, he's quite sprightly for, for nine, hundred odd or whatever age he is. Who was the American chick? Uh, yeah, in the book, who was the American chick? I don't know. Maybe we'll find out in the next film. Newt is so awkward, but I love him. Grindelwald has a little strange box. I was just very confused at that point. Newt destroying another ministry, because <laughs> like he did in London. No, no, New York, sorry. Lita's brother, what the F? Credence, I got very, I was very, oh no, that guy at the parasite was Lita's brother, half brother. I got very confused about that all. I just said the F word. What the, <laughs> WTF is Corvus real strange. Lita killed Corvus. So that's what her boggart was. OMFG, Lita's boggart is Corvus drowning. <laughs> the, and there was a bit in it where Grindelwald was showing what happens, obviously World War Two, all this, but they showed the Holocaust and I was like, what a way to get wizards to be on your side. I was like, that's mental. And I thought, if I was a wizard there, don't you think how much you would believe Grindelwald? I'm just saying, if you think about it in a way, like if you were a pure blood wizard, I can see why people joined Grindelwald. I can't see why people joined Voldemort, but I can see why people joined Grindelwald and that's the a testament to the writing of the film and the writing of Grindelwald as a character. Um, Queenie, she, I'm so pissed off that she left. Oh, Lisa, I hate Paris. I think that was Jacob that said that. It's strange to see Nagini good, and that's what I was saying before. Newt hugging Theseus, that was a cute little brother, brother moment. Niffler took Grindelwald's pendant. I've never loved a Niffler so much in my life. Austria, 1927. Hmm. Credence finally gets a wand. I was so happy to see Credence get a wand. Dumbledore has grades suddenly. <laughs> and then I have, like, and you can't see this. I've just got brother. Credence is an effing Dumbledore. Okay, that was the that, that's all I had got left, but that is a twist at the end of the, the film. Credence is a Dumbledore. What the hell? <laughs> what the hell? He's a Dumbledore. Like Credence, Credence Barebones is a Dumbledore. He's Credence Dump, oh, there's, he's another name, but he is a Dumbledore and it is freaking me out. 
I just, I can't. And I really hope that he's not Aberforth. Why does something ring a bell that he may be Aberforth? He can't be Aberforth, that's impossible. He's not Aberforth. Or is he? Is Credence Aberforth? I'm really confused. I don't know much about the Dumbledore lineage. I'm gonna to need to look into that. But that was Fantastic Beast Crimes of Grindelwald. What was your favourite bit? I'm not gonna lie. My favourite bits were like, um, I think my favourite bit was probably the twist at the end. I thought that was pretty epic. And other than that, I think there was quite a few. I just loved it all. I just thought it was much darker than the first and it was just, you got the plot now and you understood what was happening now and I just really enjoyed it. Oh, it was a film and a half. Oh God, it took me through the whole thing. I was like, that, that, that. And just that twist at the end. I think that was a twist worth waiting for. Because now all I want to, but do you know something? I answered quite a few questions and that's what I'm happy with. So I can't wait to see the, the next one for it to answer the question at the end. Does Dumbledore know that Credence is his brother? Is this a thing? Join me tomorrow when I will be doing, a, not another magical video, but I will be doing my video on, um, what am I doing my video on? It's a good question. Oh, scrapbooking from the <laughs> Fantastic Beast Crimes of Grindelwald to scrapbooking where I'll be showing you how I'm going to do a scrapbooking page. Ironically, segueing in to my Harry Potter tour photos and everything from that because, as you know, I was at the Harry Potter tour when they were filming Fantastic Beast Crimes of Grindelwald. So I hope you guys enjoy that video and also join me on Friday for um, a little bit of a more serious video. I'm going to be talking about how I have been finding travelling from home um, with anxiety and depression to university. So I hope you guys enjoy that and I hope you guys enjoyed this video. So I'll see you guys tomorrow. Knox.